Welcome back, Chris. Thank you. Hello. Chris is back. Yes, he's back. Katie's back. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Bring Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Who are you watching? Beamus. We're back with round three for Kumamon. I know a lot of you guys actually have been ordering a set. Thank you so much. These are available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. They are licensed, they are official. At the same time, a lot of you do complain. It's so expensive. Why is it so much? What is it, like 40 bucks? And I'm being transparent here. These are licensed, man. I agree, like 20 bucks per set, maybe okay. But we still gotta pay the license fee. And even Ida was very hesitant to put these on the store. It's like, not many people will buy it. But there are you guys out there that are buying it. And that's the one thing I'm really happy is being able to put these on the freaking store at least. You know, but if, like I said, if you can find them anywhere else, please go ahead and buy them. Enjoy this video, sit back, relax. We're gonna jump right into it. If you haven't, there's a part one, there's a part two. You know all about this, where they're from. Here we go. Let's look at these. The first one we're gonna look at is from Panlos, or they call themselves In Bricks here. Kumamon's The Office, 880015. No idea how many pieces. Here are the boxes. They look absolutely amazing. Of course, the Japanese house is the biggest box of all. The other two are the same size as the previous ones we saw. Here's a look at the front. Here's a look at the back, which shows you all the details that I'm about to show you. Beautiful boxes. It's time to throw them away. Just want to give you guys a quick heads up. These are brand new in front of me. These are Kumamon small shop stalls. You can see them on that camera. There's like a cherry blossom stall, tea shop stall. There's these two here that are like a tempura stall, or this one is a tempura stall. This one is like a noodle joint. These are really cool, they're brand new, they're available, they're on the store as well. These ones are my samples. I don't know if I ever have time to build them, but here you go, they look pretty cute. Oh, maybe I can do them real fast. If you guys like and comment and subscribe, let me know if you wanna see these ones. And a quick shout out to Panos or Inbricks. Thank you so much for the gift. These were gifted to me. Kumamon bears. But I'm gonna probably just keep them like this. I don't know, should I open them? You can probably buy these, you know, if you can find them. There's the other guys there. You have like a cook, pilot, Chinese god, boy scout, monk, I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much Pamelos and Inbricks for gifting me with these. You guys should be gifting me a lot more for doing these reviews. I'm just kidding, man. The manual is super simple, super easy to read. You guys don't need to see this anymore. We're here to see the sets if you can't afford to buy it. So here we go, Kumamon in his dusty office. Man, these bricks are like collecting so much dust so fast. Anyway, this one is really good. I like it. I like the whole vibe and the feel of it. And there he is. We've seen him before. I guess I like this one because it's very uniform. I don't know how to, to explain it, but it just really feels like an office space. You can always remove him and put a figure in there. Will it be to figure scale? I'm not quite sure. Let's pull up a random figure. This is the guy from the ramen shop that we saw on first round. So you can see the scale there. If I move Kuberman out of this desk here and put this figure sitting down, or oh, I think he might be a little bit too small. Here we go, sit him right there. Yeah, it's a bit, oh, it's, it's all right. Not too bad. Okay, let me pull him out and let's look at this thing in detail. For this specific set, there are a lot of stickers. Unfortunately, all these sets have a lot of stickers. Some of them actually don't. I think the cake shop is one of the only few ones that have no stickers on them. But they look really good to me. Let me just rotate this sucker for you. Here's the back. Nice little flower bed there. I like that. The window. That actually looks pretty okay. The rest of it is pretty plain. Like here. Nothing there. Plain Jane. So we come back to the front here. And you've got the post box there. I'm not sure why that, that inside the room. But hey, cool. You've got a post box. Deliver your mail there. And then we come to this desk. The desk looks really cool. I like the design and the look to it. I like how they use the clear bricks on the top. And look at all those printed pieces. Yes, those are printed pieces there. What a very busy looking bear at this desk. I like the size of it and I like the chair behind it. The chair is very different from what I built. So that's good, unique. So if we start going behind the desk there, you got this big sticker of Kumamon cheering. Not sure what's going on there. I like the cabinet in the back. The drawers open up at the bottom and a lot of little items on the inside like awards and looks like a painting there on the second row and like micro figures and little things scattered there and on top there's a couple boxes Kumamon printed on those pieces and next to that is like a lower shelf it doesn't open up underneath but you can see that there are items on the inside 
but I like what's scattered along the top. Great, I got Chris back to help me translate. Chris, what is this thing in the corner? Chris says that kind of translates to a type of lantern. Yeah. Well, anyway, something very important on that table. And there are some tiles on there with stickers, like Kumamon enjoying himself with a friend, being happy in that picture and holding flowers in that one. And I like the flower there in the corner and the camera behind that. With the flower bed in the background, that angle, it looks really good. Like, I like this background, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately for the final wall here, all stickers, but it looks cute. I like all the photos, they're really good. It's Kumamon with a bunch of animals, that's interesting. The animals are just as big as he is, scary. And a little air conditioning vent along the top. I gotta remember the chiropractors like sit up, put your chest out. I've been trying to do that, man. Chris, man, we gotta lose some weight. But there you go, this is the office, super sturdy. I like this one quite a lot, even though yes, there are some stickers on there. But let's move on to the cake shop because you might be surprised. Now we're looking at Kumamon's Panlos in Bricks, the cake shop, 880016. Pieces to be determined. You can count them by yourself. The cake shop manual is a little bit bigger, but it's still pretty thin. And like I said all the time, Panlos, it's pretty easy to put these all together. And discoloration, you might find some of that here. I find that with all the bricks now too. I even found it with Lego, man. <gasps> How dare they? Anyway, we don't need to see that. Let's move on to the sets. This is the cake shop that you're seeing here. What's the cool thing about this? I don't think there are any stickers on this set for once. Wow. Okay, so on the exterior, you have a couple accessories here. You got the umbrella, a little tiny stool to chill and hang out. You got a table there with a little muffin and a drink on top. And you got the sign, the open sign. And yes, that is a prince. So yay for prince. Nice little accessories here. And let's move on to this cake shop now. I actually really like it. I thought this was pretty cool. It's very different. It's the first set that is actually all closed off. And I love the decoration along the top. You know, I'm a sucker for the 3D printed look to it. I like how the Kumamon sign has the frosting dripping down. That looks really good. Chris, don't get any ideas. That is frosting, okay? The white thing going down. Along the top, you got that chocolate bar. I like how they did that. Chocolate bar and some donuts. Chocolate straw, chocolate muffins. I'm making you hungry, man. We're gonna have some desserts later. Oh, chocolate, yes. strawberries. And notice when I move him to the side here, he's got a pretty little face there. He's like, ooh, all bricked out. That's nice, man. There's no stickers. It's all prints. That's so cool, man. And the other side is blank, though. If I go here like that. Yeah, it's like his ass. Nothing there. But even the back here, not much going on. I like the look of that. You know, I just realized Kumamon is missing from the set. I have the same Kumamon as all the other ones, the standing up one. On the right there is the checkout area, and that is a print that says checkout. So I was really surprised this one's like all printed out. And even the window display there, it's all just pieces, but it does make it look a little bit more plain. So I think stickers do help. It just really depends if you want to use them or not. But I like the cake design there, a little car on it. And in order to get inside, we got to take the top off. It's been so long, man. I don't know if I can even get the top off this thing. Okay, there we go. It should come off pretty easily. Yeah, look at that, it's all nice and loose. Ah, uh, if I flip it here. I think this is the better one. If you're gonna get any of them, this one would be the one to get if you like cakes. I like the office. Actually, I like all the ones before. Like the first one was pretty popular on our store. The ramen one, actually they're all pretty good, man. Anyway, here's the top down view of the cake shop. And if we look on the inside, you pretty much saw everything from the outside. It's just a couple more like standing tables there and along the back, a menu, a one that says donut, and the other one, I don't know what that says, on, ongakuru, does that mean dessert or something? On the on this side of the wall, you have another shelf there with a bunch of little items inside. But see, this is, gives you an idea, like this whole set is like not much or no stickers at all, but everything looks a little bit more primary and plain. So I guess that's the catch, right? If you had stickers all over it, it'd probably make it a little bit more hyper real, if that makes sense. Here's a look at the back of the counter. You got a sink that could just barely fit in there and some sauces on the side. You know, everything's all tiled on the inside. I like that. Yeah, that's the cake shop. And for the rooftop piece here, it is a little bit scuffed on the window. I like the overall look and the design of that. Using some Technic pieces. So everything does feel pretty sturdy. It's fun to put this together. It's like, yo, that's just neat, man. You can actually just take off his whole face here on the side and be like, oh, there. There's Kumamon's face. You don't have to use this. If you didn't want anything to do with the bear, you take both sides off there and you got yourself a little cake shop. 
nothing to do with the bear at all. But yo, I like this one. I thought this one was actually pretty good. The last one we are now looking at is Kumamon's Panos in Bricks, the Japanese house. 880018. The biggest set of them all. This Japanese house is by far the biggest one. It is absolutely the best one out of all of them. There are some stickers in this one, but this one also has two brick lights, which I may have to remove the batteries if I send them to you guys. It all depends on the courier if they tell us yes or no, and sometimes I can sneak them in. But anyway, easy to find the batteries, and you do have to use the brick lights in order to build the set, or if you don't, you just use some two by four bricks for those spots. But anyway, they're kind of hidden in the back. I'll show you how those work. But this one by far is the prettiest looking set. It's most grand. I think it is more expensive than the other ones for sure. But this one is, was a lot of fun for me to build and put together. I really, really enjoyed it. I did have a small missing piece, which I did replace using one piece within the set. You guys might not even be able to tell, but let, let me walk you through this whole thing. If I show you the outside here, it's actually pretty tall, but it's, it's quite skinny, but it's just like the spa, the first one we saw, but it's like a very grand version of it. And if I come here to the side, it's rotated for you. The house is pretty open. I like that, the whole Japanese vibe. You can see Kumamon chilling out down there. And once again, you don't have to use them. Use your own figures. And we come here to the side. You got a little open area there. And I'll show you quickly here. There's nothing going on in the back, but there you go. You can see the battery pack here and the other one along here. That's where you're gonna switch them on. I'll switch it on for you if I feel like it. And I got more windows and things over here, which I'll, I'll walk you through this. Let's just look back here on the front. Even though the set is pretty secure, the saddest part is it's on multiple plates. If I hold it like that, oh no. And it has a little bit of a bend because it's quite heavy on the top. So if I sit it down here, you can see it's not quite perfect, but you, can, you have the option to like replace the plate or use a 32 by 32 if you want to. In front of Kumamon, you got this bamboo tree. The one on the right is a little bit shorter. That was one of the missing pieces. I was missing for a curtain that I used later. So that could have been a little bit taller. Still looks fine to me like this. And yes, we can source missing pieces for you. It just takes a lot of time. And we prefer if you put it with an order because if you're missing a little stick, that stick is going to cost you more for shipping than the actual set itself. So be aware of that. So you got a bucket down there and some slippers, just like the other sets. Some koi fish. That looks really pretty. And you come along to this entrance, the tiles have a little bit of prints on them, a little step to go up into this place. On this corner is a little garden area with a little bridge that goes across. I really like how they use this teacup spring. It looks like it's spraying water out. It's like a little water fountain. I thought that was really beautiful. And even behind it, you got a little lantern and more bamboos there. Really cool, man. I like this idea. It looks like the water is actually kind of going around the house. So... That is a very nice serene touch. Probably why I like this set a lot. So we step up into the house, first floor. Kumamon has a couple of drinks next to him. Those are all printed pieces. Crazy, right? It looks like some salad, but I need to be eaten, man. Stay on the diet here. And look, he's got a couple of floor mats there that you sit down on. Those are all printed. There's a lot of printed pieces, man. Actually, I think the majority of this is all printed. I don't think there's only like one or two stickers. You got the main table there with some chopstick spoon printed on the tile and look at the food there sushi yummy and you got a plate there and some flowers on the table there might have been some loose accessories for this one but i didn't put it there if it's not there and if you really want to get in there and take a close look on the inside this upper floor does come off and it's very easy to take off i was really quite happy with this i was like yo this is pretty cool man so now you get like a bird's eye view there you can see where the light is hanging off and you can see the back wall a lot more in detail I love this back wall, man. There's a big clock. Okay, so the big fan along that back wall is using a big sticker, but having a lot of prints kind of makes up for this set. And it's standing on a cabinet there, and I like the one with a little flower on top. Look, they have a little tiny TV there in the corner. That looks like a little seating area, but it's taken over by a divider. The divider does have three big stickers. I think these were the only four big stickers, the fan and the three on the divider. I think everything else was a print, man. But I like that TV and the calendar back there. Just the overall colors. It's like, it's not too outstanding. It's not bright at all. It looks really good. And the windows, man, those printed pieces on the window look really good. Very Japanese-y. Sorry, guys, I'm making you break out your wallet. Better get this house while you can. This one is actually one of the more popular ones. And then other than that, you got a door that goes into this little area. If you look along the top, they use real bamboo pieces or like wood pieces 
for the awning or for the cover and a printed piece along the back or is that a sticker and I can't remember yeah that, that's got to be a printed piece on the back because that's like super even I would never be able to do it evenly like that and the flower just fits in there I really like that it's a very unique different colored like bonsai tree thing it kind of sticks out though and you got the little tea like a tea room you can sit down there and have some tea and overlook this pond area see that's what I mean it's very serene to look at this thing now you see the bamboo here on this side the pipe color is green yeah, that's what I used for the bamboo, so I was actually missing that piece. I probably have spares that I could use, but I just try to use what I can for the set. And of course, you got the rooftop here. Totally solid. I like the look of this. Then we got the second floor. Move it out of the way here. You can see it there. Wee! Nice second floor there. It's smaller for sure. The rooftop was actually really fun to put together. And there's one little section here that kind of opens up a little bit. Unfortunately, you cannot take off the top here. And just to let you guys know, like the awning or the, the rooftop, how it goes at an angle is very cool. You gotta make sure you line it up right. If you don't line it up right, it's not gonna fit properly. And I had a little bit of an issue with that. I think it was actually easier to put the rooftop on and then line it up this way so you can see where these pieces go. That is a printed sign up there. It's a bedroom. Wow. I like how the bed is like low to the floor, typical Japanese style. The back wall there. You can see the shadow silhouette of a tree. You got one that's like a scroll there. The sign on the back. The desk, a little, little, little tiny itty bitty desk. So it's a lot smaller scale compared to the office that we just saw earlier. This one is more to minifigure scale, I think. And just the desk and a little like calligraphy note there and a bookshelf. That whole look is pretty cool. It has a little balcony area that protrudes out and more of these printed pieces on the windows that look really good. Yo, this is surprisingly like really good. I'm smiling when I do this one. This one I really, really enjoy. And if I put it on here, what I'm going to do now is turn on the lights. So we'll turn on the top floor light there. Turn on the bottom floor light there. And Chris, if you don't mind, you know what to do already. He's so used to this. Turn off all the lights. Yes. It already looks really super pretty, right? One more. There you go. That's good enough. Very serene. Chris, you like this one? Yes, cha-cha. Yeah, this one's really good. Best one, you guys got to get it while it lasts because these are license sets. I don't know how long these will last for. They might be gone before you know it. All right, Chris, we can turn back on the lights. Crazy, man. I should have reviewed this one first for you guys because all you guys saw the first one be like, oh, they don't look so good. They look so good, but they're not expensive. But this one looks outstanding. So boom, boom, boom. You guys got three different options. With the other two videos, you got like, eight or nine different versions of these things. And don't forget, they did skip a number. So we went from 15, 16 to 18, whereas number 17, I don't know if that's like a bad luck thing. What's number, is why isn't number 17 bad? Number 17, bad number? Not, you should see like number four, right? Yeah, number Say, four, right? Yeah. Number 14 in Chinese. Or yeah, 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 it's, it's four is like four, dead in Chinese. 14, yes. But I don't know why they skipped number 17. There's no number 17. Mm -hmm. so weird. Or someone didn't know how to count and they missed out. Anyway, there you go. These are super amazing. They're fun. They're small. They're tiny. Just put them in your set. We don't need a dimension on these things. And I promise you guys, I'm going to drop all these. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, boy. You know, the video's complete. I haven't dropped any of the Kumamon sets. Here they all are. We're going to drop these. It's going to be a lot of fun. It might be hell for some of you. I'm going to drop them in pairs. And let's just see if these things survive. I hope they do because it's gonna be a messy day today in the office. First two are up. I'm probably gonna do these randomly. I forgot which order I filmed these in. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh, well, this one wasn't too bad. Some small pieces flew off. Put this away. This one in shambles. It's just a back room. Kumamon's still sitting in there. Put this one away. Goodbye, guys. It's been nice knowing ya. Oh! Oh, 
that piece went flying, man. Oh, the restaurant wasn't too bad. That one survived. You know, just the sign for this one came off. Oh, I'm happy. This one was A-OK. -okay. Not too bad. Got two offices here. Kumamon will fly off for sure. Here we go. Three, two, one. Best one so far, just one little table. We're almost done, guys. I think the rooftop for this one for sure will fly off. I'm probably like off alignment on the camera. Anyway, something like that. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, the roof stayed on. The bear came off. The flowers for this one came off. Chocolate landed on that side. Not too bad. I'm pretty okay so far. These aren't just like minor injuries. This one is the last one. Bye-bye house. I love you. Oh! Oh, hey. Hey, not bad, man. Just the floor came off, but nothing else came off. Buy the house and the offices if you want to drop these things, and they'll be fine. The other ones, you're going to have to build them a little bit. Whew, not too bad. So these are available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. Get them while you can, because by next year, they'll probably not be available anymore. And if you're watching my video for like three years from now, too bad, man. Too late. You're too late on these guys. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for all your support. Until next time, you guys, pick me up! <laughs>